Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. Step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bio scan. This will only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the best take one. Alright, bio scan looks good. You're cleared for entry. Just leave your bag there. I'll have it set up your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the sign. Welcome to Mars, Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint you with a few of the standard operating procedures here on the Mars post. First and foremost, chain of command. 
All enlisted personnel are under the command of Master Sergeant Thomas Kelly. Sergeant Kelly will assign you to a security detail headed by a security chief. Please report to your security chief for all duty-related concerns. While on duty, please stay in your assigned patrol coverage area. All PCAs have been pre-designated to provide overlapping security and maximize efficiency. All personnel must have proper authorization in assigned areas. Be sure to annotate any discrepancies on your security inspection report. Safety is integral to all operations here on Mars. Handle firearms with extreme caution. Never discharge weapons in an area that may compromise the installation's structural integrity. Remembering these procedures is paramount to your success here on Mars. Keep in mind that you represent the greatest fighting force in the galaxy, and your actions are a reflection on the core. Take good care, and good luck on your new assignment. Mars City is a smoke-free facility. Please smoke only in designated areas. Thank you for your cooperation. Haven't seen you before. You must be with that new detachment coming to check on us. I'm here. Because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No. But I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money. Some product. Don't worry. They'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Trooper, why are so many workers spooked complaining requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and a bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruga, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Let's go. I don't think I've seen you before. You must be a replacement for one of the guys we lost. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Anna Bernays, dated November 10, 2145. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. I checked the work logs and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in the Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off, mumbling. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools in the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. Listen, I need clearance for this area. Move along. Welcome to Mars, Marine. On behalf of the UAC, welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research, archaeological study, and military operations. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being of all employees and guests. 
to help achieve this goal, we ask you to follow all UAC corporate procedures at all times. This includes restricting your movement to areas forward. Welcome to Mars, Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint you with a few of the standard operating procedures here on the Mars post. First and foremost, chain of command. Ah, someone new. It's always nice seeing new faces around here. Hope you enjoy your stay. Miller, you hear about Corporal Allen? Another newbie. Welcome to the worst assignment you'll ever have. Representing yet another great accomplishment of the UAC, the Series 3 plasma gun is an extremely versatile medium-range combat weapon. Harnessing the exhaustive resources of synthetic plasma, the plasma gun meets the critical requirement of low-cost, abundant ammunition for today's highly mobile military. Capable of sustained firepower due to the latest advancements in plasma injector technology, this weapon's lightweight and high yield make it desirable for most combat scenarios. Always on the forefront of technology, the UAC is making safer worlds through superior firepower. Take a sweet time, Marine. Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comms facility. We heard you might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. Get some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurry. Now move out.
Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. Most unexciting place on Mars. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. Now you're ready for combat. Let me do a radio test. Mars sack radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction and stray out. You'll have a quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, you're all set. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working there. Don't get excited, shit. I shouldn't talk about it. Listen, Scotty. I've done this a million times. It's not that hard. Why don't you crawl your fat ass down here and do it yourself? Hey, Clayton. Don't know if I can really help you with anything. I'm kind of busy here. Just finish the couplings so we can continue. Services supervisor. Date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some uh, unexplainable things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky. So we always have the occasional report of strange things. Jeez. What is worrying me is the fact that the number of people are sneaking up on people. People are truly Everyone's already on edge down here with all the strange things experiments from the Delta complex. The garage area is right through that door. Stop either. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. Keep my director apprised of the situation, and we'll continue to log hey, reports as I can. Hey, you're that guy headed to the old right? You better hustle up, pal. This passage doesn't go all the way there. You'll have a quick walk outside to the center's airlock. Hey, don't sweat it. Your shit's got plenty of oxygen. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. Huh? 
No, no, please. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I can't say... I, I, you don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. I built his cage. I'm getting abnormal readings here. Audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 18, 2145. The current operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 24, 2145. Reclamation problems continue to plague the main processor. Two more valve overloads on that unit in just the past week. 
These overloads can destroy the valves, causing very dangerous fire, jetting with enough heat to incinerate sensitive equipment nearby. Today, we've had only one report of injury as a result of these valve failures. And this is due in large part to the quick response of the engineering team. Our procedure of entering the failure code 842 in the operation terminal has proved adequate, and I recommend no changes in that procedure.
team two. Fall back to the nearest station and set up a CP there. Out. Marine HQ and await further orders. All remaining Marine units, this is Sergeant Keller. I'm going to reach Mars to give my current position. Move to Marine HQ to meet and await further orders.
Audio log for Dr. Kasian, currently stationed at Mars City. I have just left the weekly status meeting here in medical. The most prominent topic was the vast number of psychological issues we are seeing as of late. A number of reports indicates that 10% of the overall base personnel have shown symptoms. As many people will not come in for this type of thing, the number of affected personnel could truly be in the 30 to 40% range. It has even manifested itself in medical. I've several nurses and a couple of good doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next show from her. Two we have are being overworked in the content of the session. Dr. Casey. Dr. Mark Casey, 1547, patient Jonathan Wills was admitted after complaining of insomnia and nausea. According to the nurse, Mr. Wills was calm and exhibited no signs of disorder when he was brought to his end. The time I reached him at 10 after 4, his personality had changed dramatically. When I entered the room, Mr. Wills lunged at me with a scalpel he apparently stole from the supply drawer. With assistance of orderly, he managed to subdue and save me without a shame. Mr. Wills was heavily medicated and could not be diagnosed. With the 20 minutes he was left unattended, he managed to carve three seams in his arm and cut his own tongue into two halves. Yeah, I, I can only guess at the cause of his problems. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, all medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet with the code 347. Dr. Casey out. Video link up requested. Connection established. Marie. I can't believe you're still alive. I'm unable to return to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta Complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. It's your mission to link up with Bravo Team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job, and good luck, Marine. Marie, if you run across 
semi-operational sentry bots, use them. Those guys pack a lot of firepower. 